Hi everybody, here's a haul video, actually a haul video that was a combo of shopping from a number of different stores starting back um, on MLK Day. The rubber stamps are from a store called Paper Source. I took a class there and they offered a discount on, this, on your purchase with the class. So you'll see that. Then there are some items from May and then some items from June, July. And um, now that you don't have that 10 minute limit from YouTube, I didn't have to do nearly as much editing. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. Enjoy. So this one, this one, this one, an expletive that on occasion can be appropriate. Um, this one came from Paper Source too. I, I really like this one a lot. And um, let's see, this one came from Paper Source. So did this one. These two came from Paper Source. And if you took a class, then you got a discount on your purchases. And most of these were actually on already clearance. And then they took a little bit more off of it from there. So those I think were all the Paper Source ones that I got. I also picked up this one uh, this weekend from Big Lots and it was 50 cents. Like the butterfly in the background there. And this one, when I was back in the Kansas City area, I picked this one up at Archivers. And I, I think the pun's kind of funny. All of you are invited to get it. <laughs> uh, this one also came from Archivers. And uh, what I really like about this one is I think that you could isolate and just use either the Happy Valentines or the I Love You With All My Heart. I think there's enough room there that you could mask off. So, and this one was 25% off. And this stamp is, let's see, it says Northwoods Rubber Stamp Ink with a copyright of 2008. So not, not super new, but it's great. This one came from Paper Tales, and it's called Bunny Line, and this is an Amuse stamp. And then um, this one is also an Amuse stamp. Yep. And of course, it's a dachshund. And if you watch any of my videos, you know I have doxies. So if there's a doxie, I'm about ready to have it. Um, let's see. This one I think is great. It says, "Do what you love, love what you do." And I really liked this sentiment for a very, very long time. And this one came from Hobby Lobby in the Kansas City area. And it was on clearance, so I figured it was destined for me to be there when I picked it up. This one is also cute. It came from Hobby Lobby. And um, it's, let's see, this is a stampability stamp. And it was on sale, a, a good science, a great stamp to, to practice my Copics with. And speaking of Copics, when I was at Paper Tales, I think they're clearing out this style of marker and switching over to the brush type markers. So if you bought five, you got one free, basically. So these are the colors that I added, and I specifically did that so that I could work with the lilac colors here. So that's pretty cute. And then this one I saw a really great video on. So I picked this one up from Hobby Lobby also. This is a house mouse design that's Stampabilities line. This one came from Paper Tales. And um, I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm going to do a card with this and I'll post it to my blog because I think you'll want to be able to read it. It's from Red Lead Paperworks and it's a clean mounted red rubber stamp. So really nice. Um, also this paper which is a basic gray paper the line is called Max and Whiskers. It says Toby slash Max and of course it's two-sided but uh, if it's got doxy dogs on it it's got my name on it. So it's kind of nice to buy a single sheet of paper. These stamps came from Tuesday morning and they are making memory stamps so there's that one and then the other one that I picked up which I saw in a haul video so thank you out there for doing those videos are these alphabets and um, 
you know, they they weren't inexpensive. They well, relatively speaking, the alphabet was I think six ninety nine, and then the lowercase letters too. But I thought it was a really great deal. Yeah, six ninety nine. So regularly seventeen ninety nine, which probably was. So really like that. And then if you haven't been and you have an Aaron Brothers art store near you. They are now carrying part of the Tim Holtz collection, part of the Seven Gypsies collection. Go online and you can download coupons from them. And um, sometimes they're 40 or 50 percent off. So my theory is that I shop the chain stores when there's something that um, is pretty readily available. And I shop my local small scrapbook stores for all the specialty things. So that's how I share my crafting budget. And then I shop at Big Lots for the bargains, no doubt about it, just to make that crafting dollar go a little bit further. So this set of stamps was a dollar, and uh, really liked this border here. And fifty cents, and this says, "You have my heart." And it's you know this um, bird cages are pretty popular right now, kind of like cupcakes. Uh, Fourth of July, unforgettable for you. So that's pretty much what I got in the rubber stamping zone, and I'm going to continue until I kind of run out of some time here. This little tag I picked up at Hobby Lobby, or not Hobby Lobby, um, Tuesday morning, and it was two dollars. But I think the little girl's cute, and I think that that could really be a nice accompaniment to a mini album. So there's a little close up there. So I think she's kind of fun. Also from Hobby Lobby, excuse me, I don't know Hobby Lobby is stuck in my mind. From uh, Tuesday morning was this Fala -la, -la, La collection. And this is was $1.99 for all of these uh, embellishments. So I think that's pretty good. Especially the buttons. The buttons were what Sorry about that. The buttons were what really sold me there. So you guys probably didn't really see any of that because I'm way too zoomed in. Let's zoom back out here. So this follow along law collection. Uh, these keys I got from uh, Aaron Brothers using the coupon. These um, ideology tickets, which I know you guys have seen before. These I picked up at Paper Tales, my local scrapbook store. Same with this uh, film strip ribbon. If you haven't seen this, it's kind of neat. So picked up those from Paper Tales. And then when I was in Kansas City, I went to this store called Urban Arts and Crafts. It's in a little area called Briarcliff Village. And I picked up some cards from them, but I also picked up these memo pins. I think those are really nice and they'll be nice to embellish. And then I also picked up, and these are from Jenny Bolin. It says pearl and rhinestone pens in garnet. And um, I'll try to hold those up to the camera instead of forgetting to zoom. So you can see that they're red and then they have that little bling around them. So I think those are really neat. And this store had a lot of fiber, a lot of really good um, oh yarns and fabrics and buttons, really neat things. So if you're in that area and you haven't checked out Urban Arts and Crafts or if you're there visiting for some reason, I would definitely recommend that. Um, I also picked up this new Cuddlebug folder from... Oh, I got this at Paper Tales also. This is a 5 by 7 embossing folder that clock works here. And um, I'm looking forward to getting the longer plates. And um, this ribbon I picked up at a local thrift store. And it was a dollar for seven yards of this one. And then not so wide width. It's set only on one side, but a dollar for eight yards of this one. So I decided that. It was definitely worth it. Uh, big Lots. The Martha Stewart stuff was all on special. So I picked up these ribbon tags. And they say they're paper, so I'm kind of curious how those will work for me. These peel and stick rhinestone bling. Uh, chipboard animals. They look like animal crackers to me. So those are kind of fun. And 
going to move some stuff here. I picked up this ribbon, which I really like this ribbon, and I only saw one roll of it. I got a lot last year, too. And this is called Pink Sand. Also, I had a whole bunch of... Uh, this is Making Memories. And this was a dollar for all of these snaps. So it's a great deal in there, all the colors. So that is going to coordinate really well with the Martha Stewart papers that I picked up. So I'll show you those next. Um, these are embossed borders and they say they're border stickers. So this was um, six and then I don't know if you can see this gold paper underneath. It's very lightweight but totally usable. So definitely recycle your packaging with those. These are called airmail stickers. Um, these little animal stickers. Then I got a package of vellum, 24 sheets. It doesn't tell me the weight, but I'm feeling that it's going to be pretty good. Then I got all of these papers, which as I was mentioning, to match with these, I think it's going to work out really well. So Winter Garden, Citrus Grove, sorry, try this again, Citrus Grove, Winter Garden, English Garden, Kitchen Garden, and Vineyard. So all of those are really nice and really reasonably priced. So then also all of these Making Memories embellishments, the stitch tiles in sort of a silvery color. This one says Tote Charms. That's again dog theme, so I've got to have those. Metal Word Fetty, like confetti. Uh, sheer Frame Combo. This one was a little bit more, but I really like all these sentiments, and I think think they're really great because they're translucent. And this is tissue paper. And these, uh, this is packaging like for party goods. Uh, these acorns, a dollar for the bag of three. And I know when these were selling at Michael's over the holidays, I know they were at least a dollar a piece. And then um, these two little brag books, which will make nice mini albums. And I have friends that have had babies fairly recently. And this one is kind of fun. Um, can't wait to open this up. I think that all these critters are inside. And uh, so we'll see what that's all about. But for a dollar. And then we have these little craft uh, boxes that are just dying to be embellished, but for treats again. And then this cookie box. I also picked up a number of packages of these glue dots and I wanted to show you briefly a little um, this is a project that I made and using the glue dots you just adhere in your chocolate and this is more of that Martha Stewart ribbon this is a Martha Stewart punch this is the Merci punch from Paper Source and it's really easy to do so all you do as I'll zoom in a little bit closer here is um, cut your paper score it. This is a little pearl. Open it up. Pull out one of your glue dots and these are kind of neat because they're perforated. And then there's your chocolate or whatever your treat is. You could do a tea bag if you wanted. And I'm going to put two down. Peel those up carefully. And then a little bit more. And you just adhere it inside. And you have a really nice party favor, I think. Hi, everybody. As I rewatch this video, I realized that some of these products I acquired probably over a three or four month time span. And I had done a kind of a collage video of different things that I really liked. And I hope you would too. It makes it a lot easier now that we have a 15 minute limit on time so I don't have to do as much editing. So I hope you enjoy. Please rate, please subscribe. Talk to you soon.